Made a wrong turn once or twice. Dug my way out, blood and fire. Bad decisions, that's alright. Welcome to my silly life. Mistreated, misplaced, misunderstood, missing no way. It's all good. It didn't slow me down. Mistaken, always second guessing, underestimated. Look, I'm still around. Pretty, pretty, please, don't you ever, ever feel. Welcome to episode four. Um, episode four is going to be a continuation of episode three. The reason being is I didn't get around all the trainers. Um, so this week, what is happening? This week we have, well, I'm just finished a workout. It's bank holiday Monday. Um, I'm not working today. I took a day off. Uh, I've just got a session there now. I'm going to travel to Dublin for a bit of uh, downtime. Um, and then I'm traveling from Dublin up to Belfast to Neil Anderson's uh, surprise after party. So you will be surprised by the time he watches this here, so I'm not giving anything away. Um, I hope they get to speaking to uh, till Neil. Now the rest of the week will be made up of, uh, I'll hopefully get in with Neil during the week and get a training session with him and a couple of the, the fellas and maybe ladies down in Belfast I want to hook up with that have been in the industry a right while and I really, really do uh, respect them and I actually do look up to them. Um, so hopefully get that done. Then Phil Graham's coming on Saturday to LS to do a seminar with all the team hopefully get an interview with him um, and get all the trainers to do a bit of talking other than that there it's going to be pretty much another LS week so um, I hope uh, you you uh, enjoy it um, as much as I do and I'll get uh, a chat you are perfect to me all right LS TV um, just it update is now on series or episode four um, I haven't got a big pile of footage done this week. Um, I've been very busy with a lot of other things um, outside of the fitness industry. So um, I am um, just heading here now to a place called the Cottage, which is between the Moy and Dungannon. So anybody that's watching here from that's not from my area of County Tyrone, um, this place is it's a beauty salon. Um, it's a spa. I've never been in before, but I, I stuck a post up on Facebook the other day just to see did anyone know anybody that uh, removed gentlemen's um, body hairs because it's part and parcel of the the fitness game, you know, that the hair has to be removed. Um, so whenever I do it myself, it takes hours, and I normally have bleed to death. So. I'm going to go up to these ladies here and they're going to um, do it for me. So um, I'm going to give them a bit of footage on here as well. So that's where I'm heading now. I was to hook up with Neil Anderson on Monday past and I want to I have already apologised to them. I apologise to them again on here. Um, I didn't make it over to Belfast from Dublin because Ryan being Ryan heads to Dublin and ends up in Coot Hill and Cavan. So that's just the, the life of Ryan, you know. He, um, Sometimes you can get lost in life. So I ended up putting an hour or two hours onto me travels to Dublin. And by the time I got home, it was, it was, uh, Neil was, was hopped up in bed. But um, he's in more bay at the minute. Um, he headed out there for a few days. So hopefully hook up with him next week and get a wee chat to him about his uh, picking up second place in the Muscle Model Pros in LA. Um, get a wee training session with him and get some advice off him. So that's me now heading for, uh, I'd say, the Moy Stroke to again to the Cottage Beauty Salon and Spa. So I'll catch up with you when I get there. Pretty, pretty, pretty LS TV. Um, in the Cottage Therapy, just in the roundabout to again the roundabout, heading to the Moy. Now these girls are. Shave me from head to toe, and I have to say it's an unbelievable job. Bring it closer to me. Not a hair on me. So, I want to say a big thank you to Amy and Wilson, uh, Janice behind the camera here. Excellent job. So, folks, I definitely recommend to come up here and get this done. 
you know, it is part of the, the fitness uh, game, you know, getting the hairs off. Um, it's very safe up here, and I give them a thumbs up, 100%. Brilliant job. Thanks, guys. Take them like you instead. So complicated. Look how we all make it. Filled with so much hatred. Such a tired game. Hi guys, so I'm just after delivering a nutrition and training seminar to the coaches of LS Results. We covered a wide range of different topics, ranging from how to build clients' diets up, how to assess them, we looked at key markers of health, and again referring out to GPs, physiotherapists, chiropractors, all these kinds of issues that may occur with client health whenever they're under the guidance of a personal trainer. We also looked at exercise selection, we also looked at program design and various different other elements that are essential to being a professional coach. So I hope that the guys take the information and apply it. I come here once every 14 weeks and we talk through all of these elements. And I really hope that the guys take them and apply them into their everyday businesses. A lot of the information we talk about is evidence-based behind the current science and body of literature and we look at the pros and cons to our approach and always look and see what particular context that information could be applied to and that differs from client to client and there's a wide range of clients that train within LS results the trainers have told me from the competitive athletes right through to the Gaelic players right through to overweight members of the public so the scale of coaching needs to differ. The information needs to be delivered in a different context from client to client. And it's essential that the coaches build the interpersonal and communication skills to be able to achieve that. So I've uh, really enjoyed coaching here today and I just wanna thank uh, Ryan for giving me the opportunity to come up and also all the other uh, coaches that were there today. Filled with so much hatred, such a tired day.